Okay, so today we are going to continue talking about main idea. So on the week at a glance, hopefully you did your grammar warm up um, 14, and there's a video here to check yourself there. Um, so look at that. And then here is the small group uh, practice. This is what we're doing today. So if you have the ability to print this off, please print this off first before you listen to any more of this video. Um, so we did this uh, with partners today and then we went over it. So let's continue. Um, when you print that off, you will, well, first of all, let's review. Main idea. First you find, to find the main idea, you first look at the passage and you um, find the topic, right? The main subject of it. Um, this is usually a one to two word phrase. Uh, you can find it by looking at the title or looking at um, the pictures, if there are any, or looking at like repeated words or phrases. This will help you find the topic. Then once you find the topic, you ask yourself, what point is the writer trying to make? Um, what is the focus of the article? And then when you figure that out, you put it together to find your main idea. Um, many times the main idea will be at the first sentence or the last sentence, but it's not always. So make sure you um, do the next step actually, step four, and that is do the details in the passage support your main idea. If the details do not support it, then you have to look for a different main idea. Um, and make sure, remember we looked at this as evidence. So make sure that the details, which are the evidence, prove your main idea. And then we talked about some strategies. Uh, we, I just already kind of talked about this. Look at the title, look at the pictures. It's either the first or last many times, but not always. And then the repeated words or phrases for your strategies. And then this one, which is very important. Once you find your main idea, it cannot be a detail, okay? A main idea cannot be a supporting detail. So um, if it's the main idea, then don't tell me it's a detail. All right, so today we're going to practice this. So what I want you to do is I want you to read this, and it says to use a red and blue crayon. You don't have to. You just need two different things. So if you want to highlight the main idea and then just take a pencil and underline the supporting details, that's fine. If you had colored pencils and you want to choose one color for the main idea and the other color for supporting details, that's fine. You just need two different things. So you need one thing for the main idea and one thing for the supporting details, okay? So you're gonna read this and you're gonna determine what the main idea is. Make sure the main idea is a complete sentence. It's a sentence within this paragraph. So you're gonna be able to highlight it or underline it, whatever you choose to do. Um, first, find the topic. Once you find the topic, then ask yourself, what point is the author trying to make about this? And that's where you'll find your main idea. Then after that, highlight the details that support the main idea. Now there are um, details in this paragraph that are very important, that they're interesting details and stuff, but they don't support the main idea. So don't just highlight everything. Make sure that whatever your main idea is, these details support it. Okay, when you're done, you're going to, this says topic and main idea, just write the main idea here, okay? And then there are three main details, and once you read the paragraph, you will um, see that there are three details. So um, write those three main details in the boxes. Now, um, you can put them in your own words because obviously you see they do not have uh, these boxes aren't very big, so you can write them in your own words because the sentences sometimes can be very long. Um, so right now, I would like you to pause this, and I want you to complete this um, paper. When you have completed it, then come back to my video, and we'll go over it and see how you did. But I would really like you to try this on your own first. Okay, so please try it on your own and then come back and listen to it. Okay. 
All right, so hopefully you paused it and you waited and you've completed this because now we're going to go over it. All right, the title is Preventing Cavities. There are many ways you can protect your teeth from cavities. When cavities form, they give bacteria a place to hide while forming a clear coating on your teeth called plaque. A buildup of plaque can burn holes in your teeth, so it is important to prevent the plaque from forming. Using fluoride toothpaste is a good way to prevent cavities. Fluoride is a chemical that hardens your tooth enamel and makes it harder for acids to burn through your teeth. Some water bottling companies add fluoride to their water, so drinking water with fluoride in it will also help. Another way you could prevent cavities is to avoid sugary foods and chew sugar-free gum. Bacteria love sugar, and when you eat lots of sugar, they eat too. There are many ways to prevent cavities, but the best way is to brush, your, brush for two minutes at least two times a day using fluoride toothpaste and a toothbrush. By doing this, you are making sure that you still have your teeth when you are older. It will also give you something to smile about. All right, so the first step, what is the topic? What's the subject that this article is about? Well, it's about preventing cavities, and it tells you that right here in the title, right? Preventing cavities. So that's the topic, but now we need to find the main idea. Well, what point is the author trying to make about preventing cavities? Well, they, she said, um, or he or she said something about fluoride, right? That fluoride will help prevent cavities. Um, it also says that to avoid the sugary foods. And then they, she went into details about that. Um, and then it also says to brush your teeth for two minutes, at least two times a day. So what are all of those things? Well, those are things that you can do to prevent cavities. Those are things you can do to protect your teeth. So what sentence in this paragraph says that? Well, look at this first sentence. There are many ways you can protect your teeth from cavities. Okay, I cannot highlight this. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I can do this. Okay, I can't highlight it, but I can use different colors. So I will use red for my main idea. So I'm going to underline this. Oh, I can't do it straight with my thing. <laughs> All right, so that's our main idea. There are many ways you can protect your teeth from cavities. Protecting your teeth, preventing cavities, it's the same thing. It's just worded a little differently. So now we have to find the details to support it. Well, the details are going to be those ways. Well, let's go through it. When cavities form, they give bacteria a place to hide while forming a clear coating on your teeth called plaque. Well, that's telling me how the cavities are made. It's not telling me how to prevent cavities. So I am not going to highlight that because that does not prove, that does not support my um, main idea. Remember, we're looking for ways to protect our teeth. Uh, let's go to the next sentence. A buildup of plaque can burn holes in your teeth, so it is important to prevent the plaque from forming. Once again, that's talking about how the plaque is formed and it's saying that it's important to prevent it but they're not telling me how. So I'm not going to underline that. Using fluoride toothpaste is a good way to prevent cavities. Well, look at that, that's a way to prevent cavities. So I am going to underline that. That is a detail, a supporting detail. Then it goes into um, information about that. Like fluoride is a chemical that hardens your tooth enamel and makes it harder for acids to burn through your teeth. And some water bottling companies add fluoride to their water, so drinking water with fluoride in it will also help. So all of this is about fluoride. So you can underline it all, but when we get down to um, writing the writing them out in the boxes, these are your main ones. Remember I said about the main ones? Those are your main ones, okay? All right, and now it says another way. Well, that tells you that this is gonna be another way. 
you could have um, prevent cavities is to avoid sugary foods and choose sugar-free gum. So let's do that. Um, I'm gonna just tie it. Oh, I cannot do straight. Now, chewing sugar-free gum is just one example, but it's really just to avoid sugary foods. So, and then it says. Um, oh, it also says bacteria love sugar, and when you eat lots of sugar, they eat too. So they're explaining why. And there are many ways to prevent cavities, but the best way, here's another way, is to brush for two minutes at least twice a day. Okay, using the fluoride toothpaste and toothbrush, which uh, we already talked about fluoride up here. And by doing this, you are making sure that you still have your teeth when you are older. It will also give you something to smile about. All right, so now we need to type it in here. I'm not sure how I can type it in there. Oh. Okay, so I'm not gonna type it in there, but um, this main idea, you just have to copy this sentence. There are many ways you can protect your teeth from cavities. That's the main idea, write it in there. Your supporting details, um, use fluoride toothpaste, okay? You don't have to write this whole sentence, you can if you want, but um, you can just write using fluoride even, okay? Or, um, and then the second one, another way you could prevent cavities is to avoid sugary foods. So you can just write avoid sugary foods, okay? You don't have to write out the whole sentence because some of these sentences are pretty long, especially this number three. Um, another way you could prevent cavities to, I'm sorry, the best way is to brush for two minutes at least two times a day using fluoride toothpaste and a toothbrush. Ooh, that's gonna be long. So you could just say, um, brush your teeth for two minutes um, and brush your teeth two times a day for at least two minutes. There you go. Brush your teeth um, two times a day for at least two minutes. So just, and if you wrote it a little differently, that's fine. So you can um, shorten it if you want, so you can fit it in there. But our, our main idea, first of all, we found it in the first sentence, which is where you should look first. But the main idea is the different ways to protect your teeth. And so our details, are those three different ways that they talk about. All right, tomorrow we are going to do another practice one, so uh, stay tuned for that lesson.